relaxation. So um, just a pretty simple, um, easy to do relaxation. Relaxation is probably the most important part of yoga, I think. Um, especially in the Western world, we don't often give ourselves time to relax. And even when we do relax, we've got our minds chattering away and, you know, planning and worrying. Um, so, yeah, I think relaxation is really important. Also, people that um, do a lot of physical work as well or, or exercise, relaxation is also really important for the body um, just to kind of like recharge our energy levels. So um, this is a good relaxation to do at any time, just if you're just feeling a bit stressed out, just like lay down, put your mat out, roll your mat out or your blanket or whatever and uh, just lay down and do this. Or um, it's good, obviously it's great to do if you've just done a yoga session and some stretches, really important that you do the relaxation at the end because not everybody does that. Um, which I have done in the past. I've kind of done the physical and then a little bit of meditation and then walked off. So I have completely retrained myself and can definitely see the benefit of doing the relaxation and it actually magnifies the benefits of the physical practice. So whether that's been, you know, if you've been pushing yourself in the gym or with sport, really important to relax the muscles, um, same with yoga, if you've been pushing yourself with yoga, really important to do the relaxation. So, here we go, go for it. So, I've got a mat, I'm just going to lay down on my mat on the ground. Um, make sure you feel comfy, so if you need to put a few blankets out, that's cool. Generally, it's good to do it on the floor rather than on the bed, just to um, allow your body to kind of release and relax more evenly. So um, I'm not going to use anything under me, but if um, sometimes I do feel that I need to just raise my head a little bit. So if you need to raise your head, you can either fold up a blanket or um, you can get blocks as well that are, are quite thin that you can just lay under the head. So sometimes people find that a bit comfy and just to raise the head a little bit. So we do relaxation pose laying on our backs. Um, sometimes uh, people get laid flat on the back on the ground, can feel it in the lower back. So you might feel, if you've got a couple of blankets, you might want to put one under your head and maybe one under your lower back, if that feels better. Or sometimes on the lower back, um, to release the lower back, we say to um, keep the knees bent. So um, that just helps to release the lower back down. So the knees can be bent with the feet flat and the knees are slightly apart. Or you could try getting, I've got, if you've got a bolster or sort of a longish cushion, you can put that under the knees and that's... <laughs> that feels really nice actually. <laughs> um, so, but I'm just going to do it lay, lay flat, but this is really nice. <laughs> so you could try those, try your options, make sure you feel comfy, that's the main thing. And also warm, so um, depending on the heat of the environment that you're in, um, you will always cool down during relaxation. But um, that kind of depends on how many layers you need to get on. So sometimes people will be putting socks on, jumpers. So um, whatever feels right for you. Even if you're quite, if you've had quite a physical, just done a, like a physical yoga practice, still really important that you um, don't lose your heat too quickly. As you start to relax, the heat will start to leave the body. So um, even if you've got like a skimpy outfit on, you might still just want to maybe uh, put a blanket. You could just get a, like a thin blanket over the body, over the centre of the body. Or um, in the UK, in the middle of winter, it just gets pretty cold. So for me, oh, I'm going for the big thick. 
blanket. So, um, yeah. I'll do it without the blanket to start off just so you can see what I'm doing with my body. But um, if you get yourself comfy, so we're laid down in a comfy position. Um, obviously, get got all your warm clothes on or your blanket pulled over you. So um, we're just going to, yeah, just have a feel for the body really. So if it feels okay for you, if you've got your legs straight, you're going to just make sure that the legs are slightly apart. So to wherever you feel comfy and just sort of allowing the toes to roll out to the sides. And then your arms, you're going to bring out away from the body. So again, listen to your body how far you want to go. I quite like to go like fairly, fairly far away from the body. I really feel it opening and relaxing the chest and the shoulders and the upper back and the tops of the arms. So, um, yeah, next thing is just maybe bring your awareness to the back of your head and your neck. So if you need to, just sort of take your head to the side and then bringing it back across to the other side and then try and get it central so it's in a fairly comfy position and just draw the chin down slightly so that you're lengthening through the back of the neck. So really important, the most, one of the most important parts of yoga is just connecting to your breathing. So you can maybe um, just do a few deep breaths, breathing in through your nose and then out through your mouth. So just breathing out through the mouth. As you exhale, just breathing away tension starting to let go. As you inhale, feel your breath going deep into your belly. So you might feel the belly rise as you inhale. So I'm also going to just bring some tension to the body just so that you can feel it in really sort of high tension and that should help to release tension from the body in the relaxation pose. So we're going to clench the fists, we're going to tense up the toes, we're going to squeeze the shoulders up, we're going to tense up the arms, I'm going to screw up the muscles in the face. Some people like to come into a ball, let's squeeze the whole body and then on an out breath just let your body relax down onto the ground so you're going back into the, the relaxation position. So again, bring your awareness inwards, just gently starting to close your eyes. So you've got your palms facing upwards, allowing the backs of the hands to just gently rest down onto the ground. So bringing your awareness to your breathing. So if it feels comfy for you, you want to be breathing in and out through the nose. And as you inhale, just observing that you're creating space in your body. So as you inhale, yeah, you can feel the belly rise. Just allow some movement in the rib cage, opening of the chest. But not forcing it. So the main thing is that you're starting to tune into a pace of breathing that feels natural and also relaxing for you. So create space in your body as you inhale. And you might want to lengthen the out breath as you exhale. So on the exhale, we're going to start to release tension from the physical body. So relaxation pose is classed as one of the asanas or postures in yoga um, so it's a 
about working on the physical body, but by um, having an effect on the physical body, this will also then have an effect on the mind. So the main um, sort of focus or goal of relaxation pose is to let go. So basically just letting go and releasing tension from the physical body and this will enable you to start to release tension from your mind. So we're going to start off bringing our awareness to our face. So just being aware of your eyes, so you're allowing your eyes to gently close, just allowing your eyelids to soften and relax. Release any tension from the muscles around the eyes. Bring your awareness to the centre of your forehead and allow the centre of your forehead to soften, just allowing the whole of your forehead to relax. Bring your awareness to the crown of your head and allow the crown of your head to soften and relax. And bring your awareness to the back. Of your head so being aware of where the back of your head is in contact with the ground just allowing the back of your head to soften and relax releasing it down onto the ground so the head now starts to feel heavy Be aware of any tension in your jaw, so allow your lower jaw to fall away from your upper jaw and just allowing the lips to slightly part. Releasing tension from your jaw, from your mouth. Releasing tension from your cheek. So as you exhale, just allowing the whole of your head to feel heavy and relaxed. Move your awareness down through your throat, so allowing the muscles of your throat to soften and relax. And allowing the muscles down the back of your neck to soften and relax. So if you need to move at any time, that's fine. Relaxation pose, you're just bringing your awareness to your body and where you're feeling tension in your body. So you can just adjust yourself so that you feel comfy. Bring your awareness to your shoulders and as you exhale, breathe away any tension from your shoulders. Allow your shoulder blades to relax down onto the ground. Bringing your awareness to the centre of your chest as you exhale, 
Release tension from the center of your chest and allow the muscles of the chest to soften and relax. So really starting to allow the upper back to relax down onto the ground. So being aware of the backs of your arms and the points along the backs of your arms where they are in contact with the ground. As you exhale, just allowing the arms to soften and relax. Allow the palms of the hands to soften and relax. Allow your fingers to soften and relax. So just feeling the backs of the arms starting to get heavy, allowing them to soften and relax down onto the ground. Move your awareness into your belly. Being aware of your breath and the movement of your belly as you inhale and as you exhale. Just allowing the belly to soften. Send your awareness down through your back, allowing the mid back to soften. And breathing away tension from your lower back. So move your awareness to the base of your spine. Being aware of the base of the spine being in contact with the ground. Just allowing the base of the spine to relax down onto the ground. So allowing your pelvis and your hips to soften. Be aware of where the backs of the legs and the backs of the heels are in contact with the ground. Move your awareness down through your legs. Releasing tension from your thighs. From your knees. <laughs> your lower legs and your ankles. Just allowing the legs to feel heavy and allowing the backs of the legs and the backs of the heels to sink down into the ground. Bring your awareness to the soles of your feet. Just allowing the soles of your feet to soften. And allowing your toes to relax. Just 
again, just bringing your awareness to your breathing. And with every breath, allowing your body and your mind to become more and more relaxed. Just allowing yourself a few moments to really let go. very gently just bringing your awareness back to your breathing as you inhale you're creating space in your body also as you inhale you're energizing your body And then start to move your awareness into your hands and your fingers. You can slowly start to bring some movement to your fingers and your hands. Bring your awareness down into your feet. So you can start to wiggle your toes, move your feet. Move your awareness up into your face and the crown of your head. That one is just gently starts to move the head. And when you 
feel ready, you're going to bring more movement to your body. So if you've not already got your um, knees bent, you can bend the knees. And when you feel ready, you can bring the knees in towards you, just having a hug. Um, you can still have your eyes closed at this point. It's fine. So rocking from side to side, quite nice, just gently kind of massaging the lower back. Also you might want to have a stretch, you could link your fingers, take them above your head, have a big stretch. You might want to take the leg back straight and stretch. So I want to have a yawn. And then... It's always a really good idea to roll onto your side after relaxation. So again, keeping the eyes closed, if that feels comfy, you can bring your, um, if you're not on a blanket, you can maybe just bring your hand underneath your head, kind of knees bent, just mm, nice and relaxed. So again, just focusing on your breathing, gently starting to wake yourself up when you feel ready you can open your eyes and then you can bring your top hand down onto the ground and just gently push yourself up to sitting so it's quite a good idea just to come into a sitting position I always like to keep my blanket on me um, so I'm just coming into a cross-legged the in position, got my blanket round me still, um, and I'm just gonna sort of sit up nice and tall. I kind of have my hands down onto my knees, just tuning into my breathing. So I've closed my eyes again, so I'm just sort of um, trying to wake myself up. So, really good way of grounding yourself after relaxation is to bring come up to a seated position and then with your eyes closed just bring your awareness down to your belly button or slightly lower than the belly button so in the lower abdomen so just bring your awareness down to here some people even like to bring the hands on so you could bring the hands over the belly button and um, as you inhale you're breathing down into this area if that feels comfy, so you kind of feeling the movement of the belly as you inhale and as you exhale. Just bringing your awareness down to here, creating space in the belly as you inhale. My belly's rumbling. <laughs> Quite often when you do relaxation, it gets the belly, um, gets the digestive system moving because you're so nice and relaxed. So you might get that rumbling belly. So again, we're just um, kind of like recharging our energy levels, recharging ourselves with our breath. Try and stay focused on the belly button or in the lower abdomen to get yourself nice and grounded. When you feel grounded, keep your eyes closed still. You can um, bring the hands into a prayer position and just bring them to the center of your chest. So I always think this is really nice. Um, when we bring the hands here, we then bring the focus to the center of the chest and this is our heart centre so this is really good just for like tuning in to our soul and our heart and our feelings so just kind of like tuning into here and it's really good just to um, give some gratitude as well so you might want to just say thanks for the relaxation today or you might want to say a few thanks maybe for your family, people in your life, um, health, money, so whatever. Just give some gratitude. 
chin in into your heart center. And then if you've still got your eyes closed, um, we can bring the hands, sort of like open up the palms and bring the palms over the face. So we've got, so it's kind of like keeping it a bit dark for us. So we're just bringing the hands over the face with the eyes closed. This is quite a nice way of just gently opening the eyes as well. So you can um, part the fingers and just allow the hands to come down on the face as you open your eyes. You might just want to have a little stretch or a little yawn. Um, and just, yeah, coming back to reality, really. So hopefully that was a nice relaxation you can do anytime. So you don't have to do it after yoga. Just um, anytime, just for kind of like recharging your energy levels. And um, great to do if you're just, yeah, feeling burnt out as well or stressed, too much going on. Just relax for a few minutes. Um, all good to do after a yoga session as well. Okay, thank you. Namaste.